welcome to the Magic Kingdom! My name is Steve with Ride the Teacups, and we are going to try a little science here. First, I just got to the park, and what is the very first thing we do? We take a walk down Main Street, head off through that castle into Fantasyland, look at the carousel, park my stroller, head all the way over to Rope Drop the Teacups! Right here. Teacups have this negative stigma for whatever reason. People like them, don't like them. It's too basic. It's too simple. It's a carnival ride. It can be a calm ride if you don't spin it. Some people can't handle the spinning at all, but it's just this little flat ride that really doesn't do anything, right? The trick to the teacups is I want to see just how fast I can make it go. And can we actually pull a G-Force out of the teacups? Let's find out. What color are we getting, buddy? You pick. Want this yellow one? Right. Or a green one? Mm. Here. Welcome to our unbirthday party. For your safety, please be sure to stay safe. This is as orange as it gets. Arms, feet, and legs inside your teacup. You ready to see just how fast this thing can go? Mm -hmm. Now, the way the teacups ride actually works is really interesting. You have several different circles that are spinning. The outer circle spins clockwise. And then there's three inner circles. They spin counterclockwise. So when someone asks you on the teacups, do I spin clockwise or counterclockwise? The answer is yes. And then you can choose which direction to spin your actual teacup. Here, we have chosen to spin our teacup clockwise, and you'll be able to see some results in just a little bit. But keep in mind, the direction you spin your teacup is going to really affect just how dizzy or how sick you can get. It turns out, going clockwise here is the gentler way to ride the teacups. <laughs> I can. It was what, buddy? Fun. <laughs> it's fun. Oh man, guys. That was round one. I'm having a little bit of difficulty walking in a straight line, but I'll bet we can do better. Howdy, y'all. Let's try counterclockwise this time. I had the hardest time just trying to keep one hand on the camera so it was relatively level. You could see the actual spin uh, while also spinning the thing absolutely as quick and as fast as I could. I wanted to get some real rotation out of this thing. So I tried to get some real power and torque out of these teacups. Not holding back. This is for science. Gotta make it good. Goodness sake, guys. I am getting so dizzy. Can I at least get one like for how dizzy I'm getting here? You gotta like how dizzy I am. Come on. Considering making a difference between the Disney World and Disneyland videos, one of the differences in true Disney World fashion, 
Stopping is not subtle. Whoa. Until the teacup comes to a stop, then walk to the nearest exit. You know, I was doing okay, and then I had to stand up. Standing up was rough. Spinning was great. Walking down is fine. But standing up, man. Woo! <laughs> That's a good one. I want to give a very special shout out specifically to Mark, Andre, and Luke. You may tease me about the teacups, but I think you can't handle my teacups. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been fun. Whew, I gotta sit down. I can't believe Disney World is spinning right now. Well, guys, that was an awful lot of fun. It's for science, and I pulled nearly a G out of the teacups. For reference, Expedition Everest only pulls three, and I pulled nearly one here. Please subscribe, because we'd love to see more of you, and check out our next video right up here. And as always, guys, let us know what you thought, and we will see you guys next time we ride the teacups. Later, y'all.